Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning to all my students. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to recall I have picked a few questions from what we call a collection of past year questions that you can see refer from your reference that we call your tutorial book. And I do hope that uh, with these few questions helps you to understood might be not all but at least 70 or 80 percent from the content of the topic 9 random variables where I could select I recall uh, select a few questions both for discrete and continuous random variables and since that your final examination of PSPM will be held by next week so I do hope that all of you try your best do your best take care of, take care of health and your safety and okay well the rest of it do your best may Allah help you uh, the rest of it okay so <coughs> Without wasting so much time, so let's take a look at the first one here. Okay, so then <coughs> a discrete variable x has a property distribution function. Okay, as mentioned here. It's a discrete random variable. Okay, so from this statement here, from function, we know we know that it's a for example, let's say property of x equal to 1. x function of px with x equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So just imagine if I substitute x with 1 here. And the function involved here is 2 to the power of 5 minus 1 divided by 32. Okay, so 5 minus 1 equal to 4. <coughs> Then 2 power 4, 2, 4, 8, 16, 16 over 32, or you may simplify the as 1 over 2 here. Okay, so this is one, one of the examples. So if we substitute x with 2, 3, 4, and 5, and as we know that the total of the properties of x will be equal to 1. Okay, so now. Uh, show that k equal to 1 over 16, meaning for this one here, we are going to uh, recall, make as this one, taking this statement here, which is x equal to 1 plus property of x equal to 2 plus property of x equal to 3 plus property of x equal to 4 plus property of x equal to 5 and the total of it equal to 1. Okay. So we prove the first one here when x equal to 1. So 5 minus x. Look at this function here. 5 minus x. So 5 minus 1 equal to 4. 2 power 4 equal to 16. It is 16 over 32. <coughs> so when x, we continue with x equal to 2. 5 minus 2 equal to 3. So 2 power of 3 equal to 8 over 32. 3. 5 minus 3 equal to 2. 2 square equal to 4 over 32. Plus x equal to 4. 5 minus 4 equal to 1. So 2 power of 1 equal to 2. 2 over 32. And plus when x equal to 5. And the function here equal to k. And everything here equal to 1. Okay. So 16 plus 8 equal to 24 plus 1. 4 equal to 28 plus 3 plus 2 equal to 30. 16, 24, 28, 30. 30 divided by 32 plus k equal to 1. So change this one in term of fraction with the denominator of 32, which is 32 over 32. So then, let's imagine that we bring this to the other side. So minus 30 over 32. Then k equal to 32 minus 30 equal to 2 over 32 or 1 over 16. There you go. <coughs> okay. The first one complete. And next one here. <coughs> B. Probability of x. 1, 3. Okay. So the sign of less than or equal and less than are two different things in discrete okay because for discrete we count it with the we call count the object one by one okay so less than 
less than or equal or less than okay being up bring up will be called a different meaning here so in this case x greater than or equal to one so meaning we begin with x equal to one plus product of x equal to two but what about this one here x less than three does it include three no okay so it end up with two here so x1 and x2 x1 and x2 16 over 32 plus 8 over 32 equal to 24 divided by 32. Simplify this. Okay. So, <coughs> to simplify this, 8, 16, 24, uh, 4, 32. So, 3 over 4. Okay. Calculate the mean of x. Mean of x and calculate this one here. So, <clears throat> for C, a mean expected of X, which means that it's a summation of X multiplied with its own probabilities. Okay. So, that when X equal to 1, the probabilities is 16 over 32. When X equal to 2, the probabilities is 8 over 32 and so on. Okay. X equal to 5, the probability of K equal to 1 over 16. So, a summation of all this meaning we are going to multiply the probability of 1 with 16 over 32 plus 2 over 8 over 32 3 multiplied with 4 over 32 plus 4 with 2 over 32 plus 5 with 1 over 16 okay so <clears throat> 16 over 32 plus 2 times 8 equal to 16 over 32 plus 3 times 4 equal to 12 over 32 4 times 2 equal to 8 over 32 plus 5 over 16 5 over 16 change in term of 32 here 5 times 16 times 2 so 5 times 2 equal to 10 over 32 okay so then 16 plus 16 plus 12 and 8 plus 10 equal to 62 over 32. Okay, calculate this one here. So expected of 2x minus 3 equal to <coughs> uh, 2 expected of x minus 3. So then 2 times 62 over 32 minus 3. Okay. <coughs> and this one equal to uh, what about this one here now? 2 divided by 32. 16. So then, so then uh, 62 over 16 minus 16 times 3 is 48 over 16 equal to 62 minus 48 uh, 62 minus 48 equal to 14 over 16 or 7 over 8 okay so we look at this again it's a 2 times expected of x minus 3 okay so then 2 times expected of x, which is 62 over 32, all this also makes we can simplify as 31 over 16. Okay, never mind. Um, let's be counted again if I make a mistake. So please uh, we can make a correction or you may refer to the final answer from the books then. Okay, so it is. 
2 times x factor of x, which is 21 over 16 minus 3. 3 times 16. 16 times 3 equal to 48. Okay, which is 48 over 16. 48 divided by 16 equal to 3. Okay, 2 times 31 equal to uh, 62 over 16 minus 48 over 16 equal to 62 minus 48 equal to 40. Okay. So to find the variance of x, <coughs> so find the variance, variance is a formula with expected of x square minus expected of x in bracket square. Okay. From here, we can strictly recall the uh, substitute the value of expected of x from here, which is 31 over 16. But for this one, we need to find it separately. So expected of x square equal to, again, 1 square multiplied with 16 over 32. Okay, plus 2 square times 8 over 32, plus 3 square equal times 4 over 32, plus 4 square times 2 over 32, <coughs> 16, 8, 4, 2, and 5 square times k, 2 over 32, okay, 2 over 32. Class, what if I change this into term of this one here, 2 over 32? Will it be the same then? 2 over 32, 2 times 5 equal to 10. 10 over 32 is still the same. Okay. So now, 1 square is 1, 1 times 16 equal to 16 over 32. So then 2 square equal to 4, 4 times 8 equal to 32 over 32. 3 squared equal to 9, 9 times 4 equal to 36 over 32. 4 squared equal to 16 times 2 equal to 32 over 32 plus 5 squared is 25. Uh, 25 times 2 equal to 50 over 32. Okay, so then here now, 16 plus 32 plus 36 plus 32 plus 50 equal to 166 divided by 32. Okay, so it's time for us now to find the variance which is EX square 166 divided by 32 minus expected of X. Expected of X is 31 over 16. 31 over 16 square, okay, 166 divided by 32 minus 31 times 31, okay, for 31 square, um, 9, 6, 1 divided by 16 square. Okay, 16 square equal to 256. Okay, so 256 divided by 32, 8. So meaning here, uh, 32 divided by 8, 16, 25. Okay, so now let's make this both uh, divided by 256. 256. So minus nine six one. So then one hundred and sixty six multiplied with eight. Just imagine that guys, this multiplied with the eight. Thirty two times eight equal to two five six. So one six six also multiplied with eight equal to one three two eight. So one three two eight minus nine six one. It gives us. 367 divided by 256. So then, uh, variance of 
9 minus 2x equal to a variance of negative 2 squared. Variance of a uh, constant of 9 equal to 0. So 2 with x here, negative 2 squared, and variance of x. So negative 2 squared equal to 4, and variance of x is 3, 6, 7 divided by 2, 5, 6. Okay. Uh, 367 divided by 256 multiplied with 4 equal to 367 divided by 64. Okay. So let's move to the next question then. And now, <clears throat> just now we did look at the question of the discrete random variable where we know there is a summation of probability of x. The summation of probability of x equal to 1. So it's time for us now to look at a question of continuous random variable. Okay, so for this case, we come up with integral from negative infinity to positive infinity with k2 minus x dx or function of fx dx equal to 1. Okay, so that's the difference between discrete and continuous. For discrete, we now we call deal with uh, addition and subtraction, but for integration, we deal with integration and differentiation. Okay, so then for question number 11. Okay, class, um, look at this domain. We got negative 2 until 2. Okay, so from the domain negative 2 until 2, there's a function of k2 minus x. Okay, so this function is valid from negative 2 until 2 and 0 otherwise. So meaning that the rest of the domain here is a function is 0. So integral of 0 is back to the x. Okay, 0 and integral of 1 dx equal to an x. So 0 times x, whatever value, is still 0. Okay, so for this, from this statement here, so from this statement, uh, we can imagine that it's an integral from negative infinity until negative 2. Uh, integral of negative infinity, negative 2, 0 dx, plus integral from negative 2 until 2, respect to the x, and integral from 2 to infinity, 0, respect to the x. Okay, integral of this function 0 and 0, for sure, it's going to be 0. So we don't have to waste our time to write down for both of the left and right here, just focusing on this function. So then integral from negative 2 until 2, k 2 minus x dx equal to 1. So k is a constant then. So integral 2 minus x respect to the x, we got 2x minus x squared divided by 2 equal to 1 from negative 2 until 2. Then Substitute, okay, substitute 2 here and here. So, 2 times 2 equal to 4 minus 2 squared equal to 4 divided by 2 equal to 2 minus. And now instead for negative 2 here, negative 2 times 2, negative 4 minus, okay. And negative 2 squared, negative 2 squared equal to 4. 4 divided by 2 equal to then equal to 1. 4 minus 2 equal to 2. Negative 4 minus 2 equal to negative 6. Negative times negative, positive. So 2 plus 6 equal to 8k. Then k equal to 1 over 8. There you go. <coughs> Find expected of x and variance of x. So then expected of x. Okay. Uh, different from the discrete, <coughs> discrete for continuous, we again we deal with integral. Integral, it is now integral of x multiplied with okay. Just now we found that k is one over eight. Okay, so then one over eight and two minus x dx. So then one over eight constant taken outside. Integral of x times two. 2x x times negative x 
minus x square dx. So 1 over 8, 2 x square divided by 2 minus x cubed divided by 3. From negative 2 until 2 again, negative 2 until 2. And now, 1 over 8. Okay, so then substitute 2 here. 2 squared equal to 4. 4 times 2 equal to... Oh, no, wait, wait. I think I can make a simplified here. 2 divided by 2 equal to 1. So the x squared minus x cubed divided by 3. So 2, substitute 2 here. 2 squared equal to 4 minus 2 cubed equal 8. 8 over 3. Minus, okay, now, stand for a time for negative 2 here. Negative 2 squared equal to 4. Minus, okay, and negative 2 cubed. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8. Negative 8 over 3. Okay, so 1 over 8. Uh, 4 minus 4. Okay, negative Okay, what about this one here now? Negative times negative, positive. Positive times negative, negative. Okay, negative. Uh, so negative 8 over 3 minus 8 over 3, negative 16 over 3. So then 8, 16, 2 here, then equal to negative 2 over 3. Okay, expected of x. And to find the variance, again, uh, we need to find something separately here. We need to find this one, e x squared. Okay, so from negative 2 until 2, now just now for e x, with the x multiplied with the function. Now it is x squared multiplied with k, 1 over 8, then 2 minus x dx. So now, 1 over a is a constant taken outside again. Integral from negative 2 until 2, x squared times 2, 2 x squared, 2 x squared, minus x times x squared, x cubed, dx. Integral is 1 over a. Okay. 2 x cubed divided by 3. So, x cubed divided by 3 minus x of 4 divided by 4 from negative 2 until 2. Okay, now 1 over 8. Substitute x with 2 first. 2 cubed equal to 8. Okay, 2 cubed equal to 8 times 2 equal to 16. 16 over 3 minus. Okay, 2 power 4. 2, 4, 8, and 16. 16 divided by 4 equal to 4. Minus, okay, now instead for negative 2 here now. Negative 2 cubed equal to negative 8 times 2 equal to negative 16 over 3. <coughs> and then minus negative 2 power 4 equal to 16. 16 over 4 equal to 4. Okay, so 1 over 8. Okay, 16 over 3. Uh, no, 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 wait. Okay, I'm not supposed to. Uh, okay, so then. Okay, just imagine that negative 4 times negative 4 equal to positive 4. Okay, negative times negative equal to, to positive. So negative 4 plus 4. 0. Then, negative times negative equal to positive. So then, 16 over 3 plus 16 over 3, 32 over 3. 32 divided by 8 equal to 4. Then, equal to 4 over 3. So now, uh, no, okay, here. It is, okay, 20, uh, 20, 32 divided by 8. 32 divided by 8 equal to 4, then 4 over 3. It is x squared. E x squared. Okay. So,
So now variance equal to e x square minus e x square. Okay, so now e x square equal to 4 over 3 minus expected of x negative 2 over 3 square equal to 4 over 3 minus negative 2 square equal to 4 and 3 square equal to 9. So turn this into 9, 3 times 3, so then 4 times 3 come out with 12 minus 4 divided by 9. Okay, so 12 minus 4 equal to 8 over 9. Okay, find the value of Q such that property of X less than Q equal to equal to Q equal to 1 over 4. So class, uh, earlier we look at the domain here is between negative 2 until 2. Okay, so the integral from negative infinity until negative 2, the function is 0. So integral of 0 dx equal to 0. So integral of neg from negative 2 until any part of in between negative 2 until 2, they give you a value. So <coughs> then for this one here now, ex less than or equal to q equal to 1 over 4, meaning um, it is integral from negative 2 until q. And the function k just now is 1 over a, 2 minus x, dx equal to 1 over 4. <coughs> okay, now, uh, this is not 9, it's not 9, it's a q here, okay. So then, 1 over a, so then, integral of 2 minus x respect to the x, and we get 2x minus x squared over 2 from negative 2 until q equal to 1 over 4. Okay, so 1 over 8, 2 times sub to x with q, then we get 2q minus q squared divided by 2 minus okay, negative 2 times 2 equal to negative 4. And negative 2, okay, minus for this one here, negative 2 squared equal to 4 divided by 2 equal to 2 equal to 1 over 4 then now multiply with 8 on the left on left side so then multiply with 8 on right side so 8 divided by 4 equal to 2 then we get 2q minus q square over 2 Negative 4 minus 2 equal to negative 6. Negative and negative become positive 6. So 2, bring to the side, become negative. Minus 2 equal to 0. Okay. So negative q square over 2 plus 2q. 6 minus 2 equal to 4. Okay. So class, which I think that we are going to multiply with 2 for all at uh, the top here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So multiply with 2 here and multiply with 2 here. 2 divided by 2 equal to 1. So then negative q squared plus 4q plus 8 equal to 0. Okay, to find the value of this, you may use what we call a uh, formula or completed a square or factorization. Just, you know, we call any method you feel that is comfortable with. Okay, let's try with uh, Q equal to uh, negative B. Negative B, 4 is 4, yeah, negative 4 plus minus square root of uh, B square, 4 square minus b squared minus 4a, negative 1, and c equal to a, divided by 2a, a is negative 1. So then negative 4 plus minus square root of 4 squared is 16, negative negative become positive, 
4 times a equal to 32 divided by negative 2. Okay. And then negative 4 plus minus uh, square root of 32 plus uh, 16. Uh, 16 plus 32 equal to 48. So the square root of 48 equal to uh, 4 square root of 3. Okay, I just really use the calculator. I don't have again. I don't have what we call much time and space to recall to show the solution of this one here. So then we divide by negative two. Mm. From here we got it negative four. Okay, negative four plus. 4 square root of 3 divided by negative 2 and negative 4 minus 4 square root of 3 divided by negative 2 so <clears throat> you have any idea guys any idea what's the value of q1 and q2 okay let's try never mind 1 by 1 uh, negative 4 minus 4 square root of 3 divided by negative 2 okay 2 plus 2 sub 3 which is first one here is 5.464 okay the next one here negative 4 plus 4 square root of 3 divided by negative 2 okay equal to okay 2 minus 2 square root of 3 in decimal it is negative 1.464 okay the thing is are we going to we call Take both of this Q, Q1 and Q2 as our final answer. So, let's take a look again. Okay, the value of Q, the value of Q, okay, it must lie in between negative 2 until 2. The value of Q must lie in between negative 2 until 2. Outside of this domain from negative 2 until 2 is either here or here. It's not acceptable. Okay, so let's check double both of this. 5.464. That's this value of 5.464 in the range of negative 2 until 2? Nope. Okay, and what about negative 1.464? Yes, negative 1.64 in between negative 2 and 2. So, this is the only answer that valid for this question. So, this is your answer for question B. Okay, now, let A, let Y equal to AX plus B, where A is positive and B is real number. A is post greater than 0 and B is a real number. Find the values of A and B given that. Okay. E, okay. Y equal to AX plus B. Then given that EY means that it is E AX plus B equal to negative 13 divided by 3. So, so I call arrange this it is a e x plus b equal to negative 13 divided by 3 and expected of x just now expected of x equal to negative 2 over 3 so a times negative 2 over 3 plus b equal to negative 13 over 3 equation 1 then variance of y 
is also variance of variance of y y equal to ax plus b ax plus b equal to 32 over 9 okay variance of ax plus b means that it is a square variance of x and variance of constant b equal to 0 that is 32 over 9 so now a squared and variance of x variance of x is 8 over 9 a squared 8 over 9 equal to 32 over 9 so divide by 8 over 9 left and right a squared equal to 32 over 9 divided by 8 over 9 or times with 9 over 8 9 divided by 9, 32 divided by 8, and 32 divided by 8 equal to 4. Then A equal to plus minus 2. Okay. So we got two answers here. Uh, two answers <coughs> where A plus minus 2. Okay, we are not going to take both of the values of A because it stated there in the question C. A is greater than 0 or positive. Look at this one here. Meaning, the value has the final answer where A equal to 2. Okay, now, I think that I will fit all everything in one page here. Um, do I, shall I move to the next page? A equal to Two. Okay, so the a equal to two is all here. So let me clear this first. Okay. I'm sorry for. If you think that this is what we call, uh, not very nice. Okay, so a equal to two, then substitute into this equation here. So then two times negative two over three plus b equal to negative thirteen over three. Two times negative two equal to negative four. So then negative four over three. Then b equal to negative 13 over 3 negative. Then we bring up here, the other side become positive 4 over 3. So then negative 13 plus 4, negative 9 over 3, or negative 3. Okay, there you go. So next question. Okay. <coughs> Cumulative distribution function. Of considerable x is given as follows here. So calculate probability of x less than or equal to one, then less than one. Okay, for this one here now, uh, probability of x minus one less than one. Okay, so class, let's take a look at this one. Do you still remember this? Uh, in semester 1, topic 1, modulus of x minus 1 less than 1. So, the modulus sign then come up with less than, so it come up with x minus 1 in between 1 and negative 1. You still remember that? Okay, good. So then, we simplify this as an negative 1 plus 1 equal to 0. So, plus 1 here and also plus 1 here. Negative 1 plus 1 equal to 0, then 1 plus 1 equal to 2. So bring this, imply this here. It comes up with probability of x from 0 until 2. Okay. Class, this is cumulative distribution function. The difference from the previous question then is a continuous random variable. This is cumulative. So then, we come up with um, Okay, so now uh, Guys, 
is given to us here is says capital letter of F which is cumulative distribution function. So from here, we can just simply come up with F2 minus F0. Okay, so F2 minus F0. So now, since that 0 and 2 lies in the domain of 0 until 4, so what can we do here now is substitute 2 into this function, which is 1 over 32 times x multiplied with x plus 4 so 2 and 2 plus 4 okay minus f0 1 over 32 okay and x equal to 0 and 0 0 and 0 plus 4 so class whatever value that we got here multiplied you see multiplying with 0 it's really going to give you zero here. So then it is now time for us uh, to simplify, we call simplify this. 2 plus 4 equal to 6. 6 times 2 equal to 12. And 12 divided by 32. Uh, 12 divided by 4 equal to 3. And 32 divided by 4 is 8. 8 times 4 equal to 32. Okay, 3 over 8. Find the median. And median now. Okay, so for median, uh, median where there's only one function here, so we come up with 1 over 32, substitute x with m, m and m plus 4 equal to 0 0.5. Okay, so we treat this differently because the function given here now is cumulative distribution function. If given to is a continuous random variable with a uh, continuum uh, probability density function, then we treat uh, differently. We come up with integral. But then, since given here now is cumulative distribution function of a continuous random variable, then we look at this one here now. So, um, 0 0.5 is 1 over 2. So let's say if I multiply with 32 on left side and multiply with 32 on the other side. So 32 divided by 32, 32 divided by 2 equal to 16. So then m times m, m squared plus 4m, 16, bring to the left side become negative minus 16 equal to 0. Okay, so can you write anything here now? m squared plus 4m minus 16. Can we easily simply integrate this? Uh, 16, 1 times 16, 2 times 8, uh, 3, no, 4, 4 times 4. If we choose 1 and 16, uh, 1 and 16, um, the difference, it cannot, it cannot be equal to 4. So this is not it. 2 times 8 equal to 16. So 2 plus 8 or 2 minus 8, it going to give you 4? No. Okay. 4 times 4 equal to 16. So 4 plus 4 equal to 8. 4 minus 4 equal to 0. Will you get the 4? No. Okay. So for the here, uh, let me try with, find the way of n here with negative b. Negative and b equal to 4. Minus 4 plus minus square root of b square, 4 square minus 4a, 1, and c is negative 16. 1 and negative 16 divided by 2a equal to 1. Okay, so negative 4 plus minus square root of 4 square equal to 16 plus negative, negative, become positive for 16 times 4 equal to. 64 divided by 2. Okay, so 64, 16 times 4, 64 plus with 16. 64 plus 16 equal to 80, so then square root of 80 equal to, okay, it is negative 4 plus minus 
16 square root of 5 divided by 2 or 4 plus 16 square root of 5 divided by 2 oh no, not 16, it's supposed to be 4 here Four and four, and another one here is four or negative four, negative negative. So negative four here and negative four plus and minus four square root of five divided by two. Okay, so now uh, let's find it one by one. Negative four plus four times square root of 5 divided by 2. Then you get here equal to 2.472. And another one here 4 minus 4 times square root of 5 divided by 2. Okay. And we give you negative 6. Point four seven two. Okay, so these two are the this, this two are the result of m is and this two point four seven two and negative four point seven two. Uh, since that the domain of this function is only for between zero until four. Okay, so we only take the value of m that lies in between zero until four. What about negative 6.472? It lies negative 6 somewhere around here, right? And what about this value? It lies not in the, let me call, in the road range domain of 0 until 4. And 2.472? Yes, it lies somewhere around here. So then, <coughs> uh, the value of M equal to 2.472. Okay, now, class 4, question C. Okay, uh, going to be like this. Okay, from probability density function to cumulative distribution function, then we integrate the function of fx respect to the x one by one. So, oppositely, from cumulative distribution function to probability density, the continuous we call probability density function of fx, then we come up with derivative of the function f respect to the x. Okay, so. For this one here now, determine the probability density function. So we are going to refer to this from cumulative to probability density function. And then evaluate this. So for expected, expected of this. <coughs> okay. So the first one here now. Uh, for x, for x less than 0, okay, so we will derive derivative of 0, okay, the first one here, respect to the x, which is equal to 0. For x lies in between 0 until 4, then derivative of the function, this one here, okay, 1 over 32 x squared x times x x squared x squared over 32 plus x times 4 equal to 4 4 x over 32 equal to okay. <coughs> um, mm -hmm. so what about this one here now derivative this differentiate x squared so 2 here it is 1 over 32 okay differentiate this come up with 2x plus with 4 over 32 
times a different derivative of x equal to 1 so 4 over 32 then 2 divided by 32 equal to 16 so x over 16 plus 4 over 32 okay and then for x greater than equal to 4 so derivative of 1 equal to 0 Okay, if I clear this, okay, so first then. I'll rewrite this fx equal to okay there are two different here zero and zero okay you can look at this result here zero and zero so the only one function is this here it is x over 16 plus 4 over 32 for x in between 0 until 4 and 0 otherwise. So now, um, evaluate e, e3x squared. No, sorry. 3x squared minus 1. It seems like it is e, no, 3 e x squared minus 1. Okay. <coughs> so now, uh, which I think that for this one here, now, e x squared, let's find out this one here now. e x squared equal to integral of x multiplied with this one here. Okay x over 16 plus 4 over 32 dx integral of x square over 16 plus 4 over 32 x dx from 0 until 4 So integrate this with x cubed over 3, 3 times 16, 3 times 16 equal to 48. Plus with x squared, um, 4x squared over x squared over 2, 2 times 32 equal to 64, from 0 until 4. So the first one here now, 4 cube equal to, 4 square equal to 16, 16 times 4 equal to 64 over 48 plus 4 square equal to 16 times 4 equal to 64 over 48 minus and 0, 0, 0. Okay, so... <coughs> Uh, 64 divided by 48 plus 64 divided by 48. Wait, wait. 4 cubed is 64 divided by 48. This is over 64. Sorry. Sixty-four. Four square equal to sixteen times four sixty-four. So then again okay. sixty-four divided by forty-eight plus sixty-four divided by sixty-four equal to seven over two. Okay. So Substitute 7 over 3 here, 3 e x squared 
is 7 over 3 minus 1. So the 7 minus 1 equal to 6. So class, which I think that three questions is enough for me to help you uh, with a few questions of continuous random variable. There's only one question left. So I do hope all of you try. The last final question of 27. Uh, since that our video is almost uh, reached to 1 hour 60 minutes so I think that for 3 questions is more than enough for you to try for you to recall uh, understood and try the rest of the question and class good luck for the examination uh, work hard work smart okay never give up never give up uh, that's all from me for today assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh have a nice day